Hello crafties, welcome to another tutorial. My name is Infinity and today I am back again with another crochet stitch tutorial. In today's tutorial I'll be showing you guys how to do the super easy, super beginner friendly grit stitch. So without further ado, I'm going to jump right in. Okay, so to get started with this stitch you're going to want to chain in multiples of two. Here I have already done my chain and I've chained 12. So I am ready to get started with row one. So row one, we are going to crochet, we're going to single crochet in that second chain from our hook. So let me zoom in. So not this stitch right here, but the next one. And what we're going to do is going, we're going to insert our hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops on the hook. All right, and then we're going to skip a stitch. So we're not going to crochet into this next stitch on our chain. But instead, we're going to move over to the next stitch, and we're going to put two single crochets in this stitch. Okay, and then we're not going to crochet into the next stitch, but the stitch after that. And we are going to make single crochets. So, inserting your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops on your hook. Then we're going to make another single crochet in that same stitch. And this is going to be your pattern all along the row. Skip the next chain, put two single crochets in the next, and so on and so on until you get to the end of your row. Alright, and so when you come up on this last stitch here, all you're going to do at the end of your row is put a single crochet in that very last stitch. And then you're ready to move on to row two. So in order to move on to row two, what we want to do is chain one and turn our work. And then what we want to do is single crochet into the base of this chain one, like so. And then you want to skip a stitch and you want to single crochet two single crochets in that next stitch. Alright, and then we're going to skip the next single crochet and in the very next stitch after that we're going to make two single crochets. And again, we're skipping this next stitch and working into the next stitch, like so. A single crochet, one single crochet in the last stitch. All right, and this is essentially your pattern. You're going to repeat row two over and over and over again until you get to the desired size of your project. And once you repeat the pattern for a while, you get basically what I have here. So I, the only difference between what I was just doing and this swatch here is that I went around it in a single crochet border. Nothing fancy, I just wanted to edge it off. Um, it's pretty thick, so you know, nice glove, scarf, hat set would be good with this stitch, maybe around the cuff. Um, you, of course, can make a sweater out of it. Any kind of outdoor crafts, because it does feel kind of, I don't know, thick. The yarn I used for this swatch is impeccable. Um, it's a Michaels brand. Loops and Threads Impeccable. There we go. 
so if you wanted to use that yarn it's nice and fluffy and thick feeling it's a four weight yarn and it's perfect for the aforementioned crafts so i hope today's tutorial was helpful if so go ahead leave me a thumbs up subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future tutorials i upload crochet tutorials every sunday leave me a comment down below letting me know how i did or if you have any questions regarding the tutorial or have suggestions for future tutorials i'm all ears um don't forget to check out my other social media i'm on facebook twitter instagram reddit you name it um yeah, so I guess that's it for today. Until next time, guys, happy making.